everybody, Captain Namco here, and today we're going to talk about the differences of the tech drive before my phone battery dies. And we are going to run both of these Kirby's here in the uh, video. Um, as you can see, the D, the pedals are all white or gray color, whatever this is supposed to be. And as you can see, the new the drive is the D is in green for drive. Okay. The N is in, N is gray for neutral. Now, we're going to look at the uh, pedal here. The pedal on the Centria, okay. The whole entire neutral pedal is a gray, dark gray color. The drive pedal is orange, okay. Now, I like the idea of different colored pedals, you know. You know, orange for a drive or whatever. The G6 is yellow. Now, the tech drive on these actually improved as the Kirby's got newer. And how is that, you might ask? Well, if you remember my videos, you noticed how noisy the tech drive is on my Generation 3. Well, on my G4s are really loud. If you guys remember how loud the tech drive is on this one, then you guys would know what I'm exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so... Let's uh, start up the Generation 3, and I'll show you how much the tech drive has improved since 1991. But we're not going to run all these Kirby's today. In another video, I might do that, but not today. So we're going to do the Generation 3 and the G10. Now, remember, as the Kirby's got newer, guys, the tech drives weren't as loud on the Centria when activated versus the older G-Series Kirby's. And this goes from the uh, Generation 3 on up through the Ultimate Generation. Generation 3, the uh, tech drive pedal is also one piece. This does not flip up like the neutral pedal does on the Centria. So keep that in mind as well. Now all my older G-Series Kirby's has LED lights. As does my Centria. Now I am planning on putting a LED light in my Heritage 2 over here. It does not have an LED light yet. All right. Now, Centria. Now you guys heard, barely heard my tech drive on the G3, okay? You can still hear it, but it's not as, you know, it's loud. But now the Centria. You can, the thing is, what I like about the tech drives on the newer Kirby's is, they're not as loud when you activate them. And the tech drive pedal. It's like on a pivot. All right. Turn the machine on.
smooth, you seen how smooth the tech drive is. That's how the Carbys actually improved the tech drive over the years. Now, over the years, the tech drive, you know, wasn't as loud versus the Generation 3 or the 4. Now, the Generation 3 tech drive is not loud at all, so it's really smooth as well as the Centria. The Centria 1 and 2, you know, as the Centria has gotten newer, the tech drive would improve even more. And now the Avaliers, you know, I'm, I imagine it's about the same way as the Centria. You barely hear the tech drive, which you shouldn't be able to hear it really loud. You need to be able to hear it. But at the same time, you want your tech drive to be smooth, rolling, you know, not, you know, having a hard time moving or whatever, or growling really loud. So, the tech drive on this thing is loud when activated versus the Generation 4 or my G3. But you know what? That's a okay. That's just how they started out. The first year Kirby brought out a Kirby with a um, tech drive on it was the Generation 3, and that was in 1990. That was the first year they ever put a tech drive on Kirby's was in 1990. And from that point on, the tech drive would improve. So, I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you find everything I just did here today helpful. With that being said, comment down below, like this video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.